All right, welcome back to today's Daily Rehab. Today's session is about improving or preparation for shoulder day. So, we're gonna start with the trigger point ball. First thing is trying to hit that posterior cuff. So, what I would do is get down into this part of your shoulder blade. So, your posterior lateral cuff, which involves your infraspinatus and your teres minor. They're the two workhorses for that rotator cuff. And to be honest, they're the ones you need to get that trigger point ball into. So you get in there, try and find that tight area, roll around to sort of get that sort of tight area, and then put some body weight, get some pressure on it. Not so much that you're gonna really bruise it, but just enough to release. And then what I would do is not just sit there, I would actually move that arm through range. So from down here, and then going up slowly, so you catch all those sort of soft tissues that are sore, get through that range, see if you can get through there as high as you can go, and then roll back down through it. You might just sort of readjust the ball, get into a different spot, get in there, try and externally rotate, internally rotate, get in there and loosen that up. So it's a really good one for you to work on. I'd sort of sit there for about one minute, maybe two minutes, to be how much time you've got pre-shoulder workout to try and loosen it up. Because if they're tight, you're not going to do very well with all your positioning, A of the shoulder, actual ball in the socket, and you're not going to do very well with getting your arm above your head without catching impingement. So it's a really good one to also do if you have, we are suffering from a little bit of impingement, and this will help loosen up the back of the shoulder. It's exactly what a physio does, or a massage service does, when they get in there and loosen the back of the shoulders. This is a really good one for you to work on. So work on that, obviously, hitting both sides. And that's a nice mobility to start with before you do your shoulder blade work. Now, I would go straight into um, shoulder blade prepping rather than rotator cuff. So leave rotator cuff to the end. So your first thing is your shoulder blade. Now, you'll move to a band, but to warm up, I would go into all fours. Now, if you've done this before, then you can go to one arm. So you basically go into a scapular press but one arm. So if I show you my right, you're going to press up, there's your start point, thumb forward and out on a 45 degree angle here, and you're going to go into retraction and press into protraction. So you're doing shoulder blade warm-ups if you like. You're trying to activate your serratus anterior in that press movement, which is so important for shoulder day, and try and keep that elbow externally rotated and straight, don't go into the bending, so it's straight and externally rotated. Now sometimes you don't like that with your hands, so go to your fist, so shoulder blade retraction, and press, and then swap hands, and then other side, so up high with this, externally rotated, out of that 30 degrees, retraction, protraction. So remember you're trying to work on eccentric serratus, protraction serratus, and it, this is the one that people use for winging. And so you're using it for the same sort of reasons. We're trying to pre-activate your serratus anterior. So you, you're doing this movement here, which is so important when you're doing any sort of pressing movement, like push-ups or bench press, or any sort of type of pressing movement, and above your head, because remember, when you go above your head, you're using serratus to get your shoulder blades abducted, so you've got a nice, clean movement up there. So it's very important that you get it activated it's a nice, safe movement position to be in. If you have got a bit of strength, add on a band. Okay, so you can go into this position here, go into there, into this position here again. Now, again, you can wind it up if you want to. You can make it harder. You can use a harder band. Don't mind. Okay, so you go into this position, one arm, and then you're gonna go down. So there's now some resistance. But again, be careful that you don't have too much fatigue pre-shoulder workout. You're trying to work on activation, not necessarily a full workout. This is sort of like a pre-workout, if you like. So that's a really good one for you to do. From the shoulder um, scapular press position, I go into a row. So again, it's the same movement. That's a press one on the floor. We're now doing a row one. So I go up in this position here. Now we're doing exactly the same movement. Come with this cord. So you can use a double band, okay, tighten it up. And I would go 
into from a protraction to a retraction movement. Alright? So protraction, square on the band, retraction. Right? Now, it's important that when you pull back, you don't pull up. So I'm aiming for my back corner pocket, if you like, on the other side. So for my left side, I'm aiming for my right corner pocket. So when I pull back, I'm activating a little bit of lower track. So I'm pulling down, so I keep my shoulder square. Okay, I keep it level. I'm pulling down, like that. All right, so pull. I like to have my thumb behind sometimes, so I can feel that I'm pulling my shoulder blade down as I pull back. I'm not coming up. It's very important. Pull down, and back, like that. Okay, so same again the other side. So it's a really good one. If you imagine if you're doing shoulder day, you might have some rows in there. So again, in that position, pull back. And careful, don't bend the arm, it's not a row, it's not a pull down, it's scapular prepping, okay, so scapular rows and pulls. Now, if you are having a particularly big press day, I will also add in, so if your shoulder, shoulder day is a lot of pressing, then I'll add in your band work, okay, so pressing against the wall like that, and working on that, okay, so add in, Another one of those, all right? So it's the same movement as the floor, all right? Just upright, all right? So press in that way. And you can also use it as an alternative to the floor on some days if you want. Instead of being on the floor, you can do it against the wall, but make sure if you've got enough strength, use the band if you haven't. It's just in this position here, like that. Protraction, retraction, make sure you're not bending your arm, um, and that'll fire you up through that pressing movement. So, that's your shoulder blade prepping movement, okay, to get things sort of activated, fired up in preparation for shoulder day. Then I'd work on your rotator cuff. Now the two I'd work on pre-workout is extra rotation and extension, okay. There are lots of other ones you can use, but for shoulder day, work on those. If you're limited in time, that is the one of the essential ones you work on pre-workout. So, your, I like to do my extension first. So, go onto a band like this. Okay, one, you can always tighten it up. So, you're going shoulder blade retract first, and then straight arm, straight extension. So, you're working on your rear delt. You're also firing up your rotator cuff. Okay, so release, step back, extend. Okay, keep that elbow straight, return. Back, making sure, if you watch me this way, when I pull back, when I pull my hand back, my shoulder has to stay back. Okay? And it also has to stay back on return until I get my hand forward and then I can release my shoulder blade. So I'm um, retracting my shoulder blade and then extending my arm, keeping my shoulder blade retracted as I extend, as I get my arm around the direction. And then you go forward. So common mistakes is people go that movement, right? Or they pull back and then release the arm and release the whole thing forward, which can stress load the front. The idea is to work on the back, not the front. So pulling back, pull through, really work on that. Then it come forward, pull back, pull through. So you do get a little bit of short blade work amongst this, okay? But the idea is to work on the back of that shoulder blade, working on your deltoids, your extensors, okay? But it also fires up the posterior calf, so it gets them nice and prepped, makes them work, because you're in this sort of, when you, when you pull back, you're not in turn rotation, you're there, so you do work on them quite a bit, okay? And that warms you up into the next exercise, which is your old favorite, the external rotation. So this one, very important that you're doing this pre-shoulder workout. Now this is like the you know, almost gold standard for shoulders in the physio world. Um, and you see people doing this all the time, you know, wonder what they're doing. This is used as a strengthening tool, absolutely, okay? So when people have really 
weak rotator cuffs or they're recovering from an operation or an injury, like a tear, they need to work on this to bring up the tendon as well as the muscle. In this exercise, we're just trying to work on some preparation. So be careful you don't fatigue it too much. You know, sometimes it's better to have a longer band, so there's more length here, so it's not as hard, there's not as much fatigue going on. And I'd only aim for about sort of 10 reps, that's enough. Okay, but make sure you get through you know, a good two sets on each side, maybe even three, but don't get too much fatigue. It's very easy to get fatigued quickly on this one if you do too many reps or the band is too hard. Little couple of tips. What I want you to make sure of is you don't, do not have your arm locked by your side. So, from here, don't lock it in like that. Okay, keep it a little bit of distance away. So that's one thing. So you can't lock in and do this. You've got to have it away. So it's out there. And when you pull outwards, don't let it raise up. So if you mean, look at me. If I'm here, I want to be out there. But as I pull outwards, don't go and abduct the arm. So you've got to rotate as a lateral rotation. So you have to keep this elbow in one position. You can't rotate out and then lift out because you're going to overload your abductors too much. So I like putting my hand behind, so imagine my hand's here, so I can touch my elbow. So I'm trying to keep my elbow on my finger the whole time. And that'll keep me away from my body, will also keep me from abducting and just focus on external rotation, right, in that position. Just working that, of course, both sides. A good two sets of 10, 12, whatever preps you up with it. So do that in that order, and that's your perfect little preparation for shoulder day.